So as we continue our guides on using titanium backup, today I want to show you how to transfer a backup from one device to another. So a couple days ago I showed you how to use titanium backup to create a backup of an application and even all of your applications. Yesterday I showed you how to restore the backups that you currently have on your device. And today's tutorial is really just an extension of that because these backups are located on your device. They are accessible and you can simply transfer them over to a different device so that you can do a restore and have your application or game and your own application data completely transfer from one device to the next. And this is also really good in case something happens to your phone and it becomes bricked or it just doesn't boot up if you have backups of your applications and you have them stored on your PC then once you get your phone or tablet back up and running then you can transfer those backups back to the device do a restore and then you're good to go so I'm going to continue with this series by using the Ally Bank application as the example. So as you can see here we have a backup that was created on the 21st of this month. And I just wanted to show that to you so you can see there is a backup that has been created. And this backup is actually located in your internal storage. So if you open up a file explorer, you don't really need it to transfer, but just to show you, I'm going to open up this file explorer. In the same directory that you have folders like download and the DCIM folder, you should also have a folder here called titanium backup. So tapping on that backup and you're going to see three files for each backup you have created. So you have an apk.gz file, you have a tar.gz file, and then you have a properties file. And all three of these are for the same application. As you can see that says com.ally.mobilebanking. So however you want to transfer these three files or all of the files is up to you. You can upload them to a cloud services service, a cloud storage service. But today I'm, gonna sh I'm just going to show you how to do that from the PC. Because it's a good idea to have an extra copy of your backups. You can create a backup for all of your devices or all of your applications and then copy those to your PC so you can always choose to transfer them back and do a restore at a later date. So I have simply connected the phone to the PC with a USB cable. Then you'll drag down the notification shade, tap on the USB charging this device option, and then choose the transfer files option for using this method. Then I'm just going to open up a file explorer, go to this PC, go to the Pixel XL, and you just want to find that titanium backup folder in the internal shared storage folder and again you're going to find these three files here 
So we can right click and copy, then right click and paste. And now we have a second copy of our single backup for the Ally Bank application. So now we have my old Nexus 5 right here. You can see I've gone ahead and installed Titanium Backup on the device. I've then connected it to the PC with a USB cable. And then we're just going to tap on that to choose an option. Make sure we have it set to a media device so that we can transfer media files. Once you have the new device connected to your PC, you just need to browse to the internal storage. And then you're going to want to look for the Titanium Backup folder. Now I just showed you that I have the application installed, but it's not showing up in File Explorer for some reason. That's okay, because it does show up in an application on the device. So we're just going to take these three files again. We're going to toss them in the download folder. We have them right there. Now that we have transferred the backup onto our new device, we're just going to launch a file explorer. And see, as I just said, the titanium backup folder is there. It just wasn't showing up on Windows for some reason. So we're just going to go into the download folder. We're going to copy those three files that consist of our backup. Go into the titanium backup folder. This is a different backup that I have. We're just going to paste that in there. And then press the home button. Now we're just going to follow the same steps I talked about yesterday for restoring an application. So we just tap on the icon. Actually, we need to do a refresh for it to get it out of memory. And tap on the icon. Now you can see we have two applications that we can restore from. One was the Google Authenticator app. And the second one is the Ally Bank app. Just so you can see, I do not have an Ally Bank application installed. But whenever I do a restore, you can see the Ally Bank application is there. Tap the green button. I've now restored those two. We get that notification to tell us that the restore is finished. And now, whenever I go into the app drawer, I have the Ally Bank application right there. This will work on all applications, it will work on all games, and it will transfer all of the data you have stored in those applications and games. So a lot of games right now do not use Google services to tie your progress to a specific account. So if you want to use or play a game on a different device, then you'll have to start over. But if you use this method of transferring the backup to a different device, then all of your data and progress will come along with you. So that's how to transfer backups made with Titanium Backup onto a completely different device. And again, you can use this method 
on your same device after you have done a factory reset or formatted the user data or anything like that.